Welcome to Location, the Locator News Web Edition, delivering top stories from a top newspaper. I'm Kelsey Castrava. And I'm Justin Sulner. Here's your news now. Five Cabrini students and I recently went on a service trip to Guatemala. Let's take a look at why this trip is so important. Well, getting off that plane in Guatemala City, I don't think we all knew exactly what we were getting into. When we got there, it was a little bit different, but basically every day we uh, worked just as they did and we worked. We woke up at the same time. We worked in solidarity with the Mayan people of Guatemala, so each day we woke up and we didn't know what we would be doing. Each day we got to experience a different labor that they all performed. We got assigned two different jobs a day. One day it was coffee picking, one day it was painting a school and cleaning up because they were coming back from recess. It was hard work. Another thing was constructing a roadway up on a mountain that will be able to allow cars to go up and down the mountain instead of having people carry the 100 pound bags. The next thing we purchase will be their next meal. It was really awesome working side by side with them. It was a great feeling to be able to help these people in a way. They just have such a great spirit. You really feel how much they work and how, how little they have and it's amazing experience. Former Signer Public Relations Chief Wendell Potter spoke about the deceptive practices of insurance companies. Potter used his 20 plus years of experience to justify his reasoning for leaving the field. Potter is now a public advocate for the health care reform. Medical marijuana has officially been legalized in New Jersey. Now the 14th state to have legal access to the drug, New Jersey is permitting patients with cancer, glaucoma, multiple sclerosis, HIV AIDS, seizure disorders, Lou Gehrig's disease, muscular dystrophy, Crohn's disease, and some other terminal illnesses to be treated with the medicinal weed. Former Governor John Corzine signed Bill S-119 in his last full day as New Jersey's governor on January 18th. Now let's check in with the dirt sheet. What up all you babes and bros? I'm Mike the Situation. And I'm Sammy Sweetheart, and welcome to the Jersey Shore, where we'll give you the latest in entertainment. Now that our show has come to an end on MTV, my abs aren't the only thing to talk about. On People.com, the situation and Paulie D are self-proclaimed reality kings. Yeah, that's right, I'm reality king, so I ain't taking no grenades. No, 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 not at all. Well, thanks to the iPhone, there's an app for all you out there called the Jersey Shore app. The app includes a sure nickname generator and gives statistics on how hard you can fist pump for all my juice heads out there. Too bad I can't do nothing without my hair gel. For all you Jersey Shore wannabes, the duck phone is being sold starting at $130. You can't buy that. I can do. I'm going to pick one up after I GTL. Mike, I have to take three hours to get ready and put my hair extensions on. Well, that's all the time we have for you to see more of us. Just go on YouTube or something. And oh, yeah, remember, I'll be your friend if you need a friend. Just don't throw up on me, and then we'll be fine. Yeah, that's right. And clean up your plates, because I'm not. You will be excluded from chicken parmesan night if you don't. You will be excluded from ravioli night and surf and turf night. Oh, oh remember wait. that dance thing? Yeah, yeah there's, the there's dance. a dance. Yeah. There's a dance for all you out there. It's on Monday, 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. It's donations for Haiti. It's $2 to get in. We're going to be fist pumping all night long. Hey, you grenades, stay at home. I don't want to deal with you. Yeah. Right, I like the situation. Thanks for tuning in, Alia. Back to you guys at the desk thing. Yes, down here. Dr. Armano, a philosophy professor at Cabrini College, just celebrated his 50th anniversary with Cabrini. Let's check in with Alyssa for more on this story. Hi, I'm Melissa Menzer on location, and right now I'm standing outside of Grace Hall where Dr. Romano's office is located on the second floor. Dr. Romano is a professor of philosophy, and this year he is celebrating his 50th anniversary with Cabrini College. I've known Dr. Romano ever since I first came to Cabrini, which is more years ago than you care to know, but over all the years I've always been impressed with how concerned he is with the students, with um, 
helping them learn how to learn. Uh, I've known Dr. Amano since I arrived at the college, which is about seven and a half years ago. He was very important in terms of orienting all of us who were new, and we quickly uh, learned that he really was the person who had um, been here the longest and been here almost the entire life of the college. I consider him to be one of the founders of this institution because he's been here virtually since its inception. Uh, he is beloved by all students, past and present. He is someone who always welcomes students and whom students enjoy. He's a genuine, straightforward, kind, honest, brilliant man. Congratulations to Dr. Romano on 50 years. Here's to another 50 more. I'm Melissa Menser on location. And now let's see what's up with this week's weather with Liz. Hey everyone, Liz here. We're looking at another so-so weekend ahead of us with very chilly temps in the forecast. Today it's going to be mostly cloudy with a high of 47 and a low of 21. Tomorrow, partly cloudy with a high of 28 and a low of 19. Saturday, there's a chance of some snow showers, so bundle up. The high 27, the low 15. And to end your weekend, gorgeous sunny skies all throughout the day with a high of 33 and a low of 23. That's all I have for you today. Back to you at the news desk. And now let's take a trip around the world. Early January 25th, Ethiopian Airlines Flight 409 crashed shortly after takeoff on its way to Ethiopia. The flight crew ignored all warnings and flew into the storm. All onboard aircraft died on impact. Seven-year-old Charlie Simpson raised $160,000 in a charity bicycle ride on Sunday, January 24th for UNICEF. All funds are going to Haiti. The notorious cousin of Saddam Hussein, Chemical Ali, was hung after receiving its fourth death sentence for the crimes against humanity. He ordered the chemical air attack that killed over 5,000 Kurds in 1988. And that's all for the trip around the world. Let's check in for Nick with your sports update. What's going on all you sports fans? Nick Golden here with your two-minute drill. The Eagles are officially out of the playoffs due to an embarrassing loss to their NFC East rival, the Dallas Cowboys. As usual at the conclusion of every season, the discussions about McNabb coming back for another season begin to arise. Now personally, I think McNabb is still a very capable quarterback. Over his career, McNabb has thrown 216 TDs and has thrown for over 32,000 yards. Not a bad career, but I believe the Star Telegram says it best. If Donovan McNabb's legacy as the Philadelphia Eagles quarterback has already been written, it reads, let his team do heights unseen on several occasions, but never was able to win on the biggest of stages. The NFL playoffs have been a bit of a disappointment to many this year. When it comes to the playoffs, people expect close games. Some may even call them nail biters. This year has been quite the opposite. Dallas beats Philly 34-14. Minnesota beats Dallas 34-3 and New Orleans beats Arizona 45 to 14. Sounds like some great games, right? Wrong. Thanks to a half decent championship weekend, we can all say the playoffs weren't a complete bust. Colts versus Saints in the Super Bowl. Who's going to take home the Lombardi Trophy? And now it's time for your game of the week. Last Thursday, Basketball Doubleheader partnered up with CRS in our annual Nets for Nets fundraiser. For each basket scored, Catholic Relief Services pledged to donate a malaria net to West Africa. Now on to the women's basketball game against Newman University. The Cavs started out slow with some poor shooting and weren't able to find their stride the entire first half. As they saw each miss, the score started to slip further and further away. This happened because Newman was hitting everything in sight. The Knights ended the half shooting 51% from the field, leaving Cabrini in the dust with just 26% for the home team. They went into the half down with a score of 40-20. Now for the second half action. The seniors led a charge as Cabrini took back the momentum. A spark came in the form of some great play by senior guard Kate Walk. She racked up 15 points, pulled down four rebounds, and had three rejections. With help from her other teammates such as senior point guard Deanna D'Amico, who ended with 13 points herself, and junior guard Julie Bonomo, who put up 10 points in her 25 minutes coming off the bench. The Cavs went on an incredible 25-9 run to put them within 11 points and put the game back in reach. Cabrini looked primed for a comeback until Newman stepped in and took control. Going on a streak of their own, Newman ended the Cavs' hopes by outscoring them 9-2 in the final minutes. The final score of the game was Newman Knight 77, Cabrini 60. 
That's all I have for you guys this week. Tune in next week for more sports coverage. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Location. Tune in next week for another great episode. I'm Kelsey Castrava. And I'm Justin Silner. Have a great day.